Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Robert's Movie Talk, the laid back show where I talk about all the latest movie news for the heck of it. Hey, yay! Okay, so without further ado, I will dive right, oh by the way, if you ever want a qu one of your questions answered on air, you can type one in the comments section below or send me an email at pixar206 at gmail.com. So you can go those two places and email me. All right, let's dig right in. Now at the Oscars, they were supposed to have Andrew Garfield and um, Andrew Garfield and Bat Kid, and they were going to come out before they showed the heroes montage, and like Bat Kid was going to be added on to like the superhero league with Andrew Garfield, and I thought that, um, and I thought that that'd be pretty cute and stuff, but it didn't happen for some reason, <clears throat> and it turned out that Andrew Garfield at the last minute, I believe he didn't want to do it or something like that. But don't worry, Batman, Bat Kid got refunded and went to Disneyland with Spider Man. So, you know, that's not too bad. Well, no, Disney World, I believe. But I didn't like that. I feel like that would have been really cool to see Bat Kid up there. And it would be just really interesting to me to see Andrew Garfield and Bat Kid, you know, becoming friends. So, yeah. Sadly, that couldn't happen. And also, at the there, this is kind of two news stories in one, but uh, the new Captain America film, The Winter Soldier, is going to have two after credit scenes. <clears throat> what do I think of that? Good. I just, I love all their after credit scenes. Like, well, not all of them, but they, they've been pretty good for the most of them. Like, the second Thor one wasn't really, neither of the Thor ones were really that good, but you know, I just, it's very, I just like seeing the after credit scene. I love after credit scene in general. And also, Joss Weed is going to be directing one, which is going to lead directly into, uh, I mean, it's going to influence on the Avengers, and I think that that's pretty cool as well. Um, Joss Whedon is a great director. He, you know, did the Avengers, so it would make sense he's doing an after credit scene leading into the Avengers. All right, let's see another. Sh oh, I have not been showing pictures, have I? Well, <laughs> that's a bad thing. Well, this that was conveniently placed because the next story is about 12 years a slave. At the Oscars, a, a, a few things broke down, starting with when it won Best uh, Writing Adapted Screenplay. It <laughs> okay, that was random. When it won Best Adapted Screenplay, the writer uh, th um, hugged a lot of people as he went up, but s um, skipped past Steve McQueen, the director, and, um, and then he went up thanked a lot of people, didn't think Steve McQueen, and then after that it shot to Steve McQueen and he was clapping like this. That mocking sort of clap. And then after that, when 12 Years a Slave won Best Picture and he went up, uh, the screenwriter was kind of like, like looking down like this and just being there and not really being that happy. and. Uh, the uh, writer, I, I forgot the director's name again for some reason, uh, didn't thank him. And really guys, really, I, I don't like that they did this. Really, I mean, see basically what broke down was um, the director wrote a little bit of the screenplay and wanted screenplay, well I'm not sure how much he wrote, but he wrote some of the screenplay and wanted credit. So he asked the screenwriter, that didn't work, asked um, the head of the company that made it didn't work. Then he went all the way to the Writers Guild of America, didn't work. So I guess that he's mad about that, but really, I don't like either one of these. Really, you can just let it go, guys. Let it, no, no, pun intended that that won the Oscar, but seriously, you just need to let it go. It's just one writing credit. You'll probably get more than enough writing credits, director and screenwriter. Really? You don't think the director? Without him, you wouldn't have won the award. Just, I don't understand these two people. And then we have one more news story. And uh, you, I mean, 
Batman vs. Superman. It has recently been announced that they have not written the script yet, but have started shooting. Uh, the director was talking about, like, don't worry, we know the sense of the movie, and what do I think about this? Uh, it's not going to make or break the movie, but still, I feel like you should have a screenplay written before you start filming. That's what I would just do. That's my opinion, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on that. So now uh, I have one more topic to talk about. The upcoming, uh, the film that just came out, Need for Speed, I just saw yesterday, and I'm going to do my review about it. Opening thoughts? This was pretty good. I think it's the first good video game adaptation, uh, while well, very loosely based on the video game. And I thought that it was very well done. I'm I thought Aaron Paul did pretty good. Uh, I heard he was the same as on Breaking Bad, but I don't watch Breaking Bad, so I don't really know. Um, and let's start with the goods. It's crazy to think that they didn't have any CGI in the film and it looked like they did, but all those stunts were real. Just the stunts were crazy insane, just crazy. And also, uh, it's kind of hard to take a video game with no storyline and make a story out of it. And they did that okay. The screenplay wasn't award-winning, say by any chance, but it wasn't terrible. It was a revenge story, and I thought it was pretty, pretty well done. Now let's get to the bads. I didn't have a lot of bads with it, but the script, the soundtrack wasn't amazing. It was okay, um, and I couldn't think of one beyond that. Honestly, it wasn't the perfect film. I liked the Lego Movie better, but you know, I just thought it was a very well done film. Um, so that was short, but that's my review. Thanks for watching. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday! Also, make sure to go to the comments and send in a question and this is um this is robert out